Howdy folks, it's uh, Thursday, crazy day. Uh, we uh, reviewed this on Monday and it's a pretty powerful laser, this one from Arctur. The thing is, it just says engraver. It doesn't say anything about cutting wood. Let's cut some wood. <laughs> yeah. So here's the deal. I'm gonna cut layers of plywood. I've cut out some little squares of uh, quarter inch plywood, which when I actually measured it was 3 16 Welcome to America. So, so I cut four pieces so I could get three quarters of an inch thick, which measures a little over 19 millimeter. So we should be able to cut that. But uh, this is supposed to cut eight millimeter. So without adjusting the laser head. Again, uh, somebody asked me a while back about you know depth of cut, and it was like, well, you could make a pass, lower the laser down a little bit, make another pass. And anyone will tell you that uses these, you'll end up with a lot of charcoal, but yeah, you can cut down through as long as you can move that focal point. That's kind of like where the work is happening. The laser's kind of like, that's where it's hitting, you know, the hottest. So we're gonna do this without adjusting the laser head, and then we'll see how deep it actually cut through but I'm going to crank her up to 100 slow her down so she goes real slow around say in a circle and then we'll pull a plywood up and we can look through the layers and see exactly what happened at what point so wish me luck right <laughs> yeah okay just before we start I just want to mention that I've cranked the speed way down cranked the laser at a hundred percent power I'm going to do five passes in total and that way we can really uh, try to per se cut down through as much as we should. I think five is uh, reasonable. We, we could go 10 or something, but I think a five, it should be interesting. So let me get my goggles on and uh, then we'll start cutting. Okay, so let's see what we have at this point. Wow, okay. So there's the, the top one, which is 3 sixteenths, and I'll just put my finger on it here, but you can see, like, yeah, we, we, made, a, we made an O. <laughs> we made some circles. That's the first layer. That's at 3 sixteenths. So let's go to the next one. I really should just shut this off. I guess we don't really need it. And the second layer is marked or engraved, but it's not actually cut through. So, yeah, maybe we should do the test at... Uh, 10 circles or I don't know that's that's about where we quit right there so wonder if we could cut metal okay just when you thought we couldn't get any crazier this is a 14 gauge uh, metal siding for a metal building and it's but it's soft metal and they say it can cut you know most lasers can do this so we're gonna do it on this one even though it's nowhere in the book or anything but we're gonna cut the circle this time on the metal siding I'm only going to do one pass, because that's all we should need, I think, at a very slow speed with the laser, and just see how much damage we can do to this piece of metal. It's just a piece of scrap metal from the uh, from a building job that was here. So let's get started, and let's see how we do. This should be interesting. Yeah. And this is at 200 uh, mm, just in case anybody is uh, questioning. Yeah, that's pretty slow, but all right, let's see what we got. I should send this to the home location just so it's out of the way. There we go. Now it engraved it, but it didn't cut through. Wow. Didn't cut through at all. You know, there's a, oh, actually, there is a little bit of a cut line there, but it's not through. Hmm. I don't know what it would take to cut that. Okay. Interesting. I was unable to cut through the metal with one pass, which, you know, it's the, it's 14 gauge uh, metal siding for a building. So I thought, eh, you know what, let's go 10 and just see if we can cut through or not. <laughs> let's see if we 10 times around at high speed. And it's, boy, it's hot, but it's not through, no. Well, so a quick recap, uh, 3 16 plywood, <laughs> no problem. 14 gauge uh, metal siding uh, is a no. <laughs> I went around several tries, it's 
I can't really do it. It's just not efficient and it's like there's just no point. At, you know, you got to call it at some point because obviously you just go get a circle cutter or whatever you need and just cut through. But would have been cool if it did cut it through, but you'd need a lot more power, I guess, than 10 watts of uh, diode laser here. Anyway, we got a draw today. We need to get this out of the way and get the bucket up here and the tickets and get at it. So that's what we're going to do as soon as I come back. Pow! Okay, yeah, we're ready. We got the bucket, we got the tickets. Going to do five t shirts today, and I'm going to see if I can get them drop ordered directly from the uh, t shirt company directly to whoever wins. And that way, they'll hopefully they'll get there faster because these things don't come in very, they don't come in very fast. Just, you know, letting everybody know. So we got hundreds of orders for t shirts. Uh, there's a few people that didn't. Uh, and managed to include their size. So if you win, I will try to find you and find out what size. And if I can't find you, I will send you a t-shirt about that. No, nah, I won't do that, but I will try to find out what size you take. And uh, meantime, uh, I want to thank some people that have sent in coffee again this week. Uh, Mr. James sent some coffee in the other week. And some other coffee has come in from the West Coast and things. It's like, that's, it's great. It's all good. You would not believe how much of that coffee I've gone through already. I'm a little, I'm a little surprised. Yeah, let's get rolling. We got five awesome T-shirts, and we'll mix them up. Mm, I'm making a nice mess here. I had to check the bucket; it was wet. I used to move some water this morning. <laughs> so that's not a good thing for this. So. Let's get a ticket out. Okay, let's grab a ticket here and just see who's got a t-shirt coming. Oh yeah, Doug in Kenwick, Washington. T-shirt, and yes, we see what size. We won't tell anybody the Doug. Shh, yep, yep, yep. Or is that for your wife? Oh, no. Nah. Nah. Hang on, hang on today too, because I've got, I've got something really cool. An announcement that for the viewers that it's going to be pretty cool I believe. Now this one here is Edwin and you are over in Pinson, Tennessee. If you're anywhere near that uh, is it Bobby, Buddy, Buddy, uh, Buddy Brown up there that sings, he's awesome. <laughs> he, is, he is an awesome guy. <laughs> okay let's grab another one here. And Bill in Fishers, Indiana. We know you, Bill, because we've sent stuff to you before, I believe. I think we have. Fishers, Indiana. Yeah. Bill and Fishers, Indiana. You know who you are because I think you got something. You got something from us. I don't know what it was. Anyway, let's keep going. And ah, David in Benton, Arizona. David, you got this size or that size. I'm not sure. I guess he wasn't sure whether it was available. It's available in the uh, in the bigger size, David. So not a problem, okay? <laughs> not a problem. <laughs> we got you covered, man. All right, here's another one here. Yes, yes, yes. What we got here? John in Bath, New York. And again, I think he's I think he's gotten something from us before too. So there's the five winners. You guys are all getting T-shirts, and I will set that up later today with uh, our T-shirt supplier. And like I said, we'll try to do like a drop ship order directly to you instead of having it come here and then me mail it from here. That, that would not make sense, obviously. So that's what we're going to do. Now, the next draw, because we're giving away a tool. This tool retails for around $600. So that's a, that's a nice item. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to ship it because... I hate taking things apart, putting them back in the box in this case. So this one, I'm going to try to find a box, because it's already assembled, obviously, and see if we can just ship the whole thing in a box to the winner. So, what is it? Yeah, let's, let's find out when we come back. So we got a draw. We got a draw for a new item coming up. I wonder what that could possibly be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <Whoa. laughs> A uh, little different this time around, but we're going to draw for the Enjoy Wood uh, laser machine. But we got a couple things about this I just want you to know. Uh, first off, I'm going to try to see if I can, through, if I have to buy one, whatever, I'm going to try to get a big box so that we can keep this all packaged the way it is and send it to a viewer because I don't really want to disassemble 
and then send the poor guy all this stuff with the instructions and let him have to put it back together. If we can get it out of here like this, I think that'd be really cool. It might cost me a little bit more. But this is uh, about $600 retail machine. I'm not sure what the sale price was on it right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, I will provide links in the description below where you can find this guy. Also link in the description below for the Arthur, Arthur that we uh, played with this morning, trying to cut some different things with it. And also for that plate, the uh, that working plate was is really something no matter whose uh, machine you have, it would work underneath this one too. But uh, that plate offers a lot of interesting features. Now this is how we're going to do this. I'm going to stand way over here so I can, you know, point whatever. So to get in on the draw for this, you're going to uh, email to ctrewards at gmx.com, just like I've got written on the screen right here. Uh, now, for the subject line that's on that email, you're gonna write laser, a simple enough word, right? The reason for the laser is just so we know what that email's for. So if you don't write laser, you might not even get in the draw, so make sure you got that subject line, laser. And then in the body of the letter, just your name and address as if you were doing a postal return address or something like that for shipping. That's all we want, that's all we need, you know, nothing else. And uh, hopefully we'll get lots of people in on this and somebody's gonna give them, get themselves a really sweet machine already assembled. <laughs> and I will include all the accessories that, you know, came in here for us with the machine because you'll get the there's a working plate that came with it uh i think there's some samples for engraving and stuff we'll pack all that up and we'll get all that to you now uh, the next thing we've got to do is one uh entry per household of course and uh let's see what else we got to do oh and we're gonna draw a couple of booby prizes or something too that week that we draw for this thing we're also going to give away some coffee cups to some of y'all that entered okay just you know in case you don't get the laser you know at least you'll have a great coffee cup <laughs> and uh, the other thing we're going to do is uh, I'm going to put this on and we're going to draw October the 27th this month for the laser because it is a rather expensive machine and uh, so we got to do the show budget thing you know so it's like yeah so we're going to keep that going that will allow other Thursdays open for tool reviews instead of having to try to do a, a little bit of something and a little bit of something and a little bit of something we'll be able to do, do a tool review on a thursday and a monday and that'll hopefully that'll open my schedule up a little better because we are getting a little cramped and not just lasers i mean i, I want to do 3d printers uh some more uh saw blades and, and just other things besides lasers and so this is uh one of the reasons we're going to be giving this away we can set it aside and when the viewer wins it We'll ship it to you. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell so you don't miss giveaways like this right here. Yeah. And uh, I'm out of here, I think. Uh, that's it. Hey, oh, what a great day. Over and over.